All right, guys, back in the shop one more time. Uh, not a shape Oco project this time. This is kind of a project of opportunity. Uh, found this little battery-powered fan up at Home Depot, uh, 14 bucks on the clearance rack. And a little while back, I was browsing YouTube, watching some maker videos, and I saw somebody that took one of these little battery-powered fans and made it into a DeWalt fan. And I just thought that was a really clever idea. At the time, uh, DeWalt hadn't released their fan yet, which is almost 100 bucks. So. Uh, at 14 bucks, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to do this little project. It's a little something different than usual, uh, but I got to play over in the electronics lab, uh, and I got to put together uh, another tool that I can keep in the collection uh, that's powered by these 20 volt batteries. So uh, this would be kind of a boring project if it was just a spray paint and uh, a stand project, which uh, has a PVC stand, half inch PVC, uh, and fittings spray painted black. Of course, some matched spray paint up on the fan body so that it looks like a DeWalt fan. Use the vinyl cutter to create a little logo label uh, so that it really gives that DeWalt vibe. But what was cool about this project was that we got to play in Fusion 360. So on the back of this fan, what I did was actually model the battery, uh, the 20 volt lithium batteries that DeWalt uses in their current line of tools. I modeled that, I modeled an adapter that I could bolt on the back of the fan, and what it'll do is allow me to use all these packs that I have right here on the fan. So just like that, power it up, and we've got another uh, tool in our arsenal using those same DeWalt packs. Uh, the really cool thing about this too was it gave me an opportunity to play around with some lithium cutoffs uh, and some low voltage regulators here uh, to get this fan going uh, on these 20 volt packs. So the fan itself required nine volts right out of the box. Uh, these are 20 volt packs. So what I got to do was uh, run it through an LM2506 regulator, just a standard little regulator. They're like two bucks on Amazon. Uh, dial that down to the nine volts that the fan requires. And I also got to build in that lithium cutoff. So we actually uh, got a little lithium cutoff board, program that thing up. Uh, so it cuts off at 16 and a half volts, uh, protects these DeWalt batteries from over discharging uh, so that you can put them back in the standard old charger uh, and get them back up to full capacity. So just a really neat little project. Uh, fan's got two speeds. You can adjust them on the side here. It's also got a cool little USB charger. Uh, so if you're charging or if you're working out in the field rather uh, and you need to charge up your phone or you need to charge up your GoPro, you're doing a YouTube video someplace a little bit more remote, you can do it right there from the side of the fan. So this just turned out to be a really fun little project. Again, an opportunity to do a couple things differently uh, than we have done in a couple of our previous videos. Uh, I'm hoping to be back uh, in a week or two uh, with another Shape Oco video. But I wanted to take an opportunity to check in with you guys, uh, show you what I've been working on, and hopefully next time uh, we'll make something new on the Shape Oco. So join us again.